this is a jet suit um, which is quite new in the country you know very few uh, are into this into building this adventure equipment and uh, we've been uh, working on this since uh, close to about two years now um, this is a wearable uh, a person can wear it you know you have a jet pack uh, which consists of uh, a backpack which has got a diesel tank you have electronics here air intake and turbojet engines and exhaust is at the bottom and you also have a stand to park the uh, backpack of the jet suit and uh, you have the gauntlets with the arm thrusters we have two engines on each arm uh, it, it also has uh, a safety helmet um, How much power do you use in your... See, the cumulative power equivalent is about 1200 HP horsepower and uh, overall we have about 220 kgs of thrust, right? So, it's the power is Diesel, yes, diesel. Uh, so, the tank capacity is 30 litre. And it's configurable. If somebody wants more endurance, then we could add another 10 liters of fuel. And if the choice is less endurance, then we could uh, ask about another 10 liters of fuel. Yes, so, the performance of this particular suit vary as uh, per Yes, it does. It does vary. It, it does vary with altitude. Uh, very significantly, it varies with altitude. And uh, yes, of course, some some bit with the temperature variations also. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, no, when when it takes off, you know, when it takes off, this inclines opposite. It, you know exactly uh, opposite the way it is now. Why? Right? Because you know when it gets lifted, it kind of moves away, and then the you know this is the flying position. You know the the thrusters would. Uh, Jettison the uh, exhaust gases away from the legs and the and the feet, right? So, uh, and in case in case if uh, exhaust gases happen to touch the um, ankle area uh, or even or even the calf area, uh, the uh, apparel or the or the trouser that he's wearing is a is made out of fire retarded material and it's got thermal insulators also and the shoe is also of the same grade where it is insulated and also fire retardant right i mean even if you throw fuel on it and then lit it up it will burn only as long as the fuel is uh, there and after that it just i mean puts off yeah See, uh, engines, the, the, he, in this, the constraint is the altitude at which the engines start. So, turbojet engines does not start at every altitude. So, in this case, the engines can start at 3000 meter altitude and then go till 5000 meter altitude. But, one is not supposed to take off at 3000 and then fly another 2000 meters. That's not the intent. Because, Safety is paramount, you know. These machines are not yet fully evolved, you know, it is still treated as little adventurous equipment. It's always good to keep um, the person who is flying very safe and he should be very well trained, very well educated, very well made aware of the uh, uh, kind of dangers involved in any adventure. So, in terms of uh, applications, applications yeah. yeah. What kind of applications in this? All right. See, so fundamentally, yes. See, fundamentally, this is an equipment which can take some payload from, I mean, point A to point B, right? And this is a wearable. This is so compact. Uh, I would say, you know, this is the most compact flying machine ever built. You know, of course, first inspiration is from Mr. Richard Browning. Uh, you might have seen a lot of videos of him. We have drawn a lot of inspiration from him. 
and then uh, we thought you know we could also try building it and then eventually see if we could shake hands with him and then see what best can be done as a collaborative venture we have some good ideas over and above what is available as of today you know um, make it more practical make it more usable make it more user friendly uh, and take it for more applications for example you know apart from the adventure and the recreation uh, we can also think of good applications here wherein uh, crossing the damaged bridges and crossing the rivers and uh, scaling uh, some rocky mountains and hills uh, in, 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 in terms of disaster where there is a landslide your roads are blocked but you still have to send some light cargo or some information or to even go and see and assess the situation you know how to what extent the damage is right uh, so somebody can go and then see you know this is what it is and then he can even get some pictures of it and then come down uh, so uh, and, and and it's up to the users to find applications and then we could uh, tailor the equipment to suit the applications yeah we have not pitched it to the armed forces but there was an rfp request for proposal from uh, army to which we have responded and uh, demonstrations are due uh, you know coming next week uh, in the coming week and uh, we are planning to go and demonstrate to them if we qualify you know if we take all their boxes of the requirements then uh, we may have an opportunity to supply uh, the jet suits to them and we are excited about it if you do pick the boxes How soon can you get this into production? See, we are ready. You know, uh, we have the technology ready. We have the entire supply chain already set up. You know, we service the engines. We assemble the engines. Some of the parts of the engines we are manufacturing here. And then, other than that, the complete controls. Uh, uh, you know, everything is made in composite, advanced composite materials. Everything is done here, and uh, the, even the apparel work is done in the country very well. uh so the expectation is to deliver before the end of this year i mean calendar year and uh, the contract according to them should be signed before march before end of this financial year which is indeed very ambitious but uh, we will try our best we'll try our best because this is a good opportunity amader video bhalo lagle like ebong share korun comment section e giye janan apnader motamot और भिडियो पे चैनल सबसक्राइब कर प्रति मुहूर्ते खबर आपडेट पे प्रेस कर बेल आईकन